the intention with the face is to picture it as perfectly as possible between male and female. So the obvious question is, if you're going to make a robot look like somebody, who would you choose? From the front, the major dimensions are taken from the face of Brad Pitt. But from the side, the profile is that of Scarlett Johansson. The effect of this is that the face will appear to change gender, depending on which angle you look at it from. The rest of the android, however, is more towards the male side. And that's kind of arisen naturally simply because of the dimensions of the motors, which are presently available as stock. This is an overview of the entire android when it's standing up. It can fold completely flat. to pack away into a suitcase and stands up under its own power almost all of this has now been built the right arm is fully constructed and has been tested the left arm is printing as we speak The frame for the legs will need to be very slightly modified from the existing version. It's a little narrower here, and that's in an effort to reduce the width across the shoulders. The face for now I'm expecting to be rigid, because it's just going to take too long, and I don't want to wait to assemble the rest of the android. But clearly that is an area which can be looked at in the future. It's quite nice in CAD. We can move this around a little bit. It will give us an idea of the kind of actions we can expect it to see, expect it to do.